Great to have you with us. I'm Joe Donlin. And I'm Erica Sargent. Right now, Northside residents are rattled after a string of violent robberies in less than 48 hours. Take a look at this map. Robbers crisscrossing through two neighborhoods, Lincoln Park and Lakeview, for a total of eight attacks. And in the last one, a man was shot three times over a phone. He is fighting for his life tonight. CBS 2's Tim McNicholas is live at Webster and Wayne in Lincoln Park with some breaking details. Tim. Erica and Joe, the victim's family and friends posted a GoFundMe tonight for his medical bills. They say he's a 23-year-old art student. Out of respect for his privacy, we won't be sharing his name or a picture of him. But that GoFundMe did say he is in critical condition, still fighting. This video of a heinous crime, a man being robbed and shot three times over a cell phone, is sending chills through Lincoln Park. It was all captured by this man's security camera. But I think more than anything, I'm angry. But Dave, who asked us not to use his full name, didn't need video to see what happened. He heard two gunshots around 3 in the morning, then looked out his window and saw the third shot with his own eyes. Oh, there was no threat. He was no guy was laying on the floor face down, laying on the ground face down, and the guy shot him again just for spite. I don't know. That's when Dave went outside to try to help the victim. Then I could hear him, you know, having a hard time breathing. I told him, you know, just that help was on the way. Um, I had a first aid kit I grabbed out of the car. I started to open it up, but I saw there was some police officers already on the way down the block, and so I waited for them. Police believe the robbers in this video also robbed a DePaul student nearby about five minutes earlier. Detectives are also investigating six other robberies in Lincoln Park and Lakeview over the past few days, but they haven't confirmed whether these two are connected to all of them. But I think more than anything, I'm angry. You know, I'm angry at the city. I'm angry at our leaders. This is a family neighborhood. Brian Comer is president of the local neighborhood association. He says they'd already been working with 18th District Police on ways to deter crime, and now that work is even more important. It's an opportunity to allow the neighborhood to take hold of itself, take responsibility, and work with our partners that are here serving and protecting us. And Comer tells me some people have even discussed the idea of hiring private security guards to patrol their neighborhood, which is already happening in one part of Bucktown. But he feels the better approach is to work with police. And there will be a neighborhood meeting with police just a few blocks from here on Tuesday night. Live in Lincoln Park, Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. All right, Tim, thank you.